Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my Cheapest Seat series. For this month I'm doing Matilda the Musical, as I'm sure you can tell by the title and the thumbnail and everything. When I asked in January which shows you would like to see covered the most, first of all it was Kinky Boots which was last month's video and then behind that was Matilda. So I love Matilda, I also love Kinky Boots, so great first choices for 2018. I've seen Matilda quite a few times already. I think this was either my 11th or 12th visit to see it, which is mad. Normally for my cheaper seat videos, I would book the tickets directly through the theatre's website because I want to make it fair. I don't want it to be like a discounted ticket, which not everyone can access. I wanna make it as fair as possible going through the theatre's website directly. However, on this trip, I have booked my ticket through Today Tix, which is a ticketing app, because some of you lovely viewers or people that follow me on social media in general have used my referral code to get 10 pounds off of their booking. So I have credit to use, and I think that the best way to use that credit is obviously to make more videos for you guys to watch. So even though I bought my ticket on Today Tix, I will show you the process booking directly through the website and where the cheaper seats are and also on the app. I'll show you both because I think it's good to compare. In general, if a show is not discounted on Today Tix, I would recommend that you book it through the show's website because normally places like Today Tix or even like TKTS and places like that, if they're not discounting the tickets or if they're not able to discount the tickets, then normally they have to add on a fee because obviously at the end of the day, they're a business, they need to make profit. It's always good to compare as long as you're buying from legitimate places. This is going on a bit of a tangent, but it feels kind of natural and I may as well mention it. There's an organization called Star. I'll pop their logo on screen now and link their website below. This is an organization which means that you're buying from legitimate ticket sellers. So you're not accidentally buying from any black market location or websites, you're getting legitimate tickets and you don't need to worry. Businesses that sell legitimate tickets have to be registered with Star, so you can go on their website, I believe they've got a list of all their members. The businesses should display that on their website or somewhere, you know? So you know you're getting the real deal. I just thought I'd mention that because I hate to think of anyone buying from black market locations and not buying real tickets, that makes me terribly sad. So I will go into voiceover mode and show you through the Matilda Musical website and also um, how it looks on the Today Tix app to show you where the cheaper seats are. So first things first, we obviously need to go to the Matilda website and click on London because that's what we're looking at. You go up to the book tickets tab at the top and it'll take you through to a calendar where you can obviously pick when you want to see the show. I picked a Tuesday for next month because I went on a Tuesday. It brings you up a seating plan and you can click on the different sections and it does come up with the prices automatically. As you can see for this date, the cheaper seats are at the very back of the upper circle where I managed to sit, I was actually a bit further forward. So I was in row G to the side on this side, which is obviously not available right now. But if we go look on the other side, you can see the tickets are at 37.50. So that's a bit pricier than what I paid. Due to dynamic pricing, like repricing and things like that, and depending on even the day, if it's a weekday or a weekend, the pricing will change. So I've just gone a bit further forward to see if the prices have changed and unfortunately they are not. They're still quite pricey in the middle section of the upper circle, but as you can see, the cheaper ones at £25 are still the back couple of rows. So what I'm gonna do is jump a bit further forward. Here you can see some of the £25 seats in row G, so like the ones that I managed to get. So cheaper price, better seats. Sometimes if you're able to be flexible, you will just need to shop around a little bit and change the dates and see where you can sit. And then as well, I recommend if you can spend a tiny bit more to sit at the very back of the stalls. I'll talk more about this later on in the video, but I love being at the back of the stalls for Matilda. I think it's a fantastic view and 
yes it's a bit pricier but I think it's definitely worth it in terms of the view. I'm just going to show you as well the prices for a Friday because on the weekend Friday and Saturday and Matilda has a Sunday performance as well sometimes the prices do change. This does depend a lot on whether it's the school holidays as well. I think for this date I'm looking at it's a normal weekend so it's not mm, like it's not higher than it should be if that makes sense but if we jump ahead to the summer you'll see a bit of a change in the pricing. So thankfully the cheap seats in the summer stay at the same price but as you can see from the stall section it'll sell out, those seats at the back will sell out quite quickly and the prices do go up a little bit over the school holidays. Just to show you the Today Tix process quickly as well, Today Tix is a ticket app and I adore it, I'm obsessed with it. So obviously you can go on the app, you can either search or scroll down to Matilda. Because it's not discounted, they do charge a little bit more. So the seat that I got on Today Tix was £31 and if I'd purchased it through the Matilda website it would have been the £25 ones. So as I mentioned if you are booking a show like this that is full price I'd recommend just booking it through the website. Okay now we've gone through the booking process uh, let's go straight into the vlog and then I'll come back to you afterwards and chat about what the seat was like and what the show was like. This is now the interval of Matilda. I've just been thinking, this might be my 12th time seeing Matilda, which is mad. I'm fine with it though. I haven't seen it since September, which feels like ages ago now. Um, it wasn't really, but time just goes so quickly, doesn't it? And it's obviously still as great as ever. The one thing I love about the show is that I can see it loads and it's just magical every time and so brilliant. And I love the fact as well that obviously it's normally a different Matilda every time. Um, I didn't actually pay attention. I filmed a clip of the class board earlier. All I did was double check that Gina was on. <laughs> so I need to go back and see who I've got as Matilda. And it's really nice because Vicky Lee Taylor is on as Mrs. Wormwood. So a different Mrs. Wormwood as well. I've not seen her in the role before. She's fantastic. I just love this show. And I forgot actually how decent a view it is from the upper circle at Matilda. Um, I've been up here before I day sat a couple of years ago. And I was actually planning on doing a day seating at Matilda vlog before doing a cheaper seat vlog. But uh, yeah, this just ended up happening first but I will do a day seating at Matilda vlog at some point um, because yeah the day seat prices are insane for this show it's amazing but yeah the view from the upper circle is it's not bad at all really you miss a couple of little bits obviously I'll explain fully later what you miss but overall can't can't complain too much a couple of annoying audience members around me I think because I go to the theatre just so much <laughs> You just pick up on when people are annoying a lot more because you experience it a lot more often So that's fun. I might talk about that later on in the video, but I might also not because Keep things positive, you know 
Anyway, I'm gonna go back in now, climb back up to the upper circle, take a quick photo of the cast board before I go back in. But yeah, having a lovely old time at one of my favorite shows. As I mentioned earlier on in the vlog, I have been to see Matilda quite a few times and weirdly, I've only ever sat in the stalls or the upper circle. I'm pretty sure I've never been in the dress circle, so maybe that's something I need to do at some point. I've sat in the upper circle, I think just once before, I'm pretty sure anyway. And that's because I've only day sat at Matilda once, I believe. I think I'm wrong, maybe twice. Definitely one time, definitely that. The day seats at Matilda are an incredible five pounds, which always blows my mind. I think when I day sat for Matilda that one time we were in row K, so I will put the exact seat on, on screen. The seat in the view, if I can find a photo. I was really lucky in that the cheapest seat for when I wanted to go actually put me in row G, which is kind of just over halfway in the upper circle. They have an aisle going through, well, on like a walk, way I guess goes across the upper circle because of that you do have a safety rail in front of you because obviously you are a bit higher up than the walkway so obviously you need a safety rail to make sure that you don't fall on 21. This is really great because you can actually kind of put your feet up a little bit and it's really comfortable I find. I really enjoy that and I think when you're buying the cheapest seats possible you kind of want to make sure that you can get the best deal that you can from it. As I mentioned in the Kinky Boots vlog, the cheapest seat that I managed to get there was um, in front of their stairs. So I had like extra leg room, kind of the same with this one at Matilda. Because I didn't have anyone right in front of me, it meant that my view was pretty good. And also I had that added leg room in that I didn't have anything in front of me and I could also put my feet up, which some people like me, will find comfortable. The safety rail is positioned in a way that it doesn't restrict your view at all. It's like in your line of view, but I personally didn't find it distracting at all. I'd forgotten just how big the Cambridge theatre is. It's quite a big theatre, especially when you are at the top of it. From where I was in the upper circle, I did have a really clear view. And I find that with this show, for the most part, it's not at a weird angle that you're watching the show. You can see everything clearly. Obviously you just feel a little bit further away from everything. It's really nice to be able to see their magnificent proscenium. Oh, I'm obsessed with how they've done that. It's one of my favorite things about the theater. I adore it. All the Scrabble pieces around the side. I just think they look amazing. The one shame about not being in the stalls is that a lot of action does happen within the stalls. It's not necessarily really crucial to the story but obviously there's a lot of fun stuff that happens without spoiling it for anyone who's not seen the show there are things that happen in the stalls that it's exciting to be able to see and you definitely can't from the upper circle i think even if you're at the front of it you probably wouldn't be able to see it as much because there's a central aisle that goes through the middle of the stalls and yeah Stuff happens there that you obviously don't see. There's also some bits that happen in the boxes that are obviously either side of the auditorium and from the upper circle, you can still see what's happening there. So you don't miss out on that. Depending on when you want to see Matilda and if you're happy to spend a tiny bit more, I've sat at the very back of the stalls quite a few times. I think actually in my last Matilda vlog from the current cast's opening night or their first night, I was sat at the back of the stalls and it offers a fantastic view in my opinion. Generally, it depends on the dynamic pricing, depends if it's the weekend or the holidays, but generally the back of the stalls is around the 50 pound mark. I think last time I went, I paid 55 pounds maybe but the stall section for this theatre, the very back of it, you really get a perfect view because the stalls are like raked there on a, on a slight slope. So from the back, I find that you can see straight over people. You can obviously see everything that's happening within the aisles and it's just a fantastic view. Obviously you still feel a bit further away from the action because you're at the back of the stalls. But as I say, if you're happy and able to spend maybe 20 or so pounds more per ticket, I know that's hard for some families. And like, if you're having to buy loads of tickets, I know that's not easy. 
but if you're able to it's definitely a better view in my opinion obviously i can't speak for if you have children how they would find the view from the upper circle theaters like this because of obviously the nature of the show they do offer booster seats and you only need to ask for them i hate thinking that people feel shy about asking for booster seats if it's going to enhance your child's experience or even your experience if you're on the smaller side don't be ashamed to ask for a booster seat because that's what they're there for. They're there to help you see the show. But yeah, I can't personally speak for how it is for children to watch the show up there. But as an adult, I can say that the view is still great. And I don't think it takes away from the enjoyment of the show. You can still see everything. It's not like they have really sort of intricate things that you'll miss out on. For the most part, obviously the show is very very loud, <laughs> I would say, if I were to be funny about it and clever. I personally don't think you miss anything and it is a fantastic show so you're still gonna enjoy it. It was actually really exciting when I went to Matilda. I mean I've seen the show before, I love it, I know what I'm going in for but I actually had a trunchbull swap in the interval which was very unexpected. So David Shannon was on as the trunchbull as he normally is. I believe he had an injury of some sort. I think I've got a friend that works there and I did ask about it after the show, but I think it was that, it was an injury or illness, I think injury though. And so yes, he had to go off um, after the interval. Simon Shorten had to take over, which was really exciting. I'm obviously never enjoying the fact that someone's injured, but it's quite fun as a regular theater goer when things like this happen and you're there because it's, it's mind blowing to me to think, oh my goodness, that person, obviously they're prepared for it. This is what they train to do. This is why they're incredibly talented. But just me trying to think of them putting themselves of the mindset of like, right, act two, let's go. Cause you know, for the most part with a show, you start at the top <laughs> and you go from there, but to go in halfway through, first of all, that must be quite scary in a way, even for someone who's an absolute professional to be kind of, thrown on in a sense that must be quite terrifying but also when you know that the person obviously the, the the main principal cast member they have their way of doing a role and you have might do it differently completely differently slightly differently who knows and you know the audience has got to know their version of that character and now you've got to go out there and finish the show and you know, it could be quite confusing, but at Matilda, they're amazing in that they fully inform their audiences. For some shows, they'll just do um, an announcement over the, the speaker system. But at Matilda, generally, someone will come out on stage to tell the audience, which I think it just shows a lot more respect, I think, for the performers. At first, I was a bit worried. I was like, oh, is the show gonna be canceled? Or what's going on? But no, it was just to inform us that obviously David Shannon was unable to finish the show and that Simon Shorten would be taking over. And yeah, I just, I really like that as well because it depends on the show, but for this one especially, the audience's reaction was amazing. Like, so the person who came out to announce it, they obviously went off and then everyone cheered. And I was like, oh that's so cute and then at the curtain call as well from my experience of going the trench ball can get a sort of lukewarm reaction especially if there are lots of kids in because obviously they've come to know the trench ball as like the baddie often the trench ball doesn't get as big a response as say for like matilda but at this performance the audience was so supportive and i really really enjoyed that it was very heartwarming it was really lovely to see gina beck as miss honey again i i just adore her as an actress so obviously it's a pleasure to see her i i said this in my previous matilda vlog but i've been saying that she'd be perfect as miss honey since basically the first time i saw matilda so to finally have her in the show as miss honey is a wonderful thing uh, she is incredible and i had emma moore on as matilda so a new matilda i haven't actually kept track of my matildas which is pretty bad i mean obviously a pretty much a new one every time which is really exciting i feel like they get better every time and also a lot more mature i think um i don't know if you're a super fan of matilda i know there are super fans out there obviously have the matildas been getting older it's not 
I'm not saying like they're teenagers now, but you know, have they been casting slightly older girls to play the role since the show began? Because I'm intrigued about that. I feel like they used to seem a lot younger when I first started seeing the show. Let me know. Or maybe the kids are just getting even more talented all the time. I wouldn't be shocked. They're so talented. It disgusts me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up there. So the view from the upper circle, it's fine. It's not fantastic, I would say. I would much rather be at the back of the stalls if, you know, you can pay that little bit extra. But you know what? If you can day seat for a fiver, it's amazing. <laughs> and even if you can't day seat, the cheap seats are not that bad, to be honest. And the show itself is a bloody fantastic. So I would highly recommend seeing Matilda either here in London or it's also going on a UK tour. So if you're able to catch that at your local venue, I'd highly recommend doing so. It's such a wonderful show, especially if you've got kids as well they will love it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've seen Matilda from The Cheap Seats, I would love to know your thoughts on the view and the show and all of that. Let me know in the comments. And if you've seen Matilda in general, I wanna know your thoughts on the show. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you want to see more of me in the future. I'm always putting out theatre content. So if you like that kind of stuff, you should stick around. I'd also love to know what you'd love to see next in the Cheapest Seat series. I think I've got the one for March covered, but you know, we've got more months in the year yet to come. <laughs> so yeah, let me know your suggestions in the comments below. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you very soon. Bye.